Hi everyone, I'm Anne from Annie and Everything, and today we're going to talk about CTC Online High School Math. All right, we are here today to talk about CTC Online Math for High School. I am Anne. I write the blog Annie and Everything, and I've written the book Cure the Fear of Homeschooling High School, How to Be Sure You're Not Missing Anything. And also I admin two very active Facebook groups. One's called It's Not That Hard to Homeschool High School, and the other is called It's Not That Hard to Homeschool K to 8. And so we're here today to look at CTC Math, which is an online math program. My daughter has tried it, and I've had fun looking all the way through it, and we've compared it to another program actually on the blog. I've written a blog post that compares CTC to Alex. So if you're looking for some specifics about those two programs, then you're going to want to click on the link underneath this video and go check that out. But for now, this video is just about CTC math. So what is it? Well, CTC math is an online math program. It is a membership program, which means that you pay a monthly fee for your student or students to have access. The wonderful thing about it is that for that one monthly fee, they have access to any and all levels, K through 12. And so that makes it super easy for them to go back and review something if they need to, or to move ahead when they're ready and you don't have to buy new curriculum for the next level of math. It's all there, it's all accessible at all times. And it's actually quite reasonably priced, especially for homeschoolers. Homeschoolers do get a discount. The, currently, the price is $11.97 for an individual, but for your family, there's a huge benefit to just buying the family membership, and then anybody can jump on at any time, and they can each have their own separate account and keep track of everything for each student separately. And then, of course, there's the parent account where you can look at all of your students at once and see how they're doing. So. What CTC does is um, it provides a full math curriculum. So it's got lessons and every single lesson has a video to go along with it. It's not a person, uh, it's a kind of mathematical chalkboard, if you will, where they're describing, showing on that chalkboard how the lessons happen. Uh, graphics, I guess is what I'm trying to say, because it's not an actual chalkboard. It's computer graphics where they show you how to do the, the problems that are for that topic. So it's not a person talking, just to make that clear. Um, so there's a video for every lesson, and then there are questions to answer, and then there's a worksheet to do for every lesson. It also provides the evaluation after a certain number of lessons. Then you've got your tests that the kid can take, either a short version or what they call a standard version, which is a little bit longer, or a comprehensive, which I guess covers you know lots of sections. So it is a full curriculum and can be used as such. It can be solely your math curriculum. But for the price, it would also make a great supplement. If you've got a curriculum you love, but your child has a regular need for some ongoing reinforcement or practice, more so than what's provided with your curriculum, CTC Math would be a great way to provide a supplement for a very reasonable price every month. The other thing about CTC is that it teaches to mastery. So what we mean by that is it's not a spiral approach. You might be familiar with Saxon, which is a spiral approach where you are given a new topic to learn, but then the practice problems will encompass everything that they've gone through before so that they are constantly reviewing the old topics as they also practice the new one. CTC Math does take it sequentially, step by step, one topic and then the next and then the next. Uh, so it does not have a spiral approach to it, and you get graded as you go from one topic to the next. And I think that has its place in math. I've always been a fan of Saxon uh, for the elementary years, uh, but for the high school level, I do feel like the sequential way is the way to go. I think it can become really confusing on that higher level math when you're when you're learning very complicated processes and you have to build them up step by step to me it would be very confusing to be going to a different topic for the next lesson and then back again and having trying to remember the the steps that led up to that so i think for high school math the sequential way step by step line upon line block upon block is is probably the better way to go that's just my personal opinion Probably the best way to tell you what CT Math is all about is to show you what it's all about. So what I'd like to do now is cut to a screencast where I'll get on the program and I'll show you all the various parts about it. 
Okay, here we are logged into CTC Math. This is the student account. I changed the name of my daughter <laughs> to protect her privacy. <laughs> and we're also not going to look at the level that she's been doing, uh, also to protect her privacy. Um, this year we're headed into geometry, so I thought I'd show you what is in CTC Math Geometry. But as you can see already in here, there are there is access to all of the levels, so we can go into elementary and even study kindergarten math if we want to. Wow, they have algebra in geom in kindergarten. Who would have known that? Anybody can access any level at any time, and that's really helpful in case you want to go back and review anything. Junior, high school, middle school, starting with sixth grade, then we've got basic math, measurement, elementary geometry, just some good stuff there. And then, of course, the usual high school courses, algebra one, geometry, algebra two, trigonometry, pre-calc, and calc. So let's take a look at geometry as a sample course. Each course is broken up into parts, and then when you click on that, each part has sections. And as you can see over here, this tells me the number of lessons in each section and the number that have been completed by the student. So after student completes the first lesson, plane shapes one, then that fraction back there, hard to see in the blue, is going to say one over 11. So you see this part expands into these sections. Click on a section and it expands into the lessons in that section. And you just proceed from one lesson to the next. Up at the top we've got these diagnostic tests and you can choose either short or standard or comprehensive. So what? Quiz, normal tests, and midterm type test? You can use them however you like. The child can rate their understanding of this after they've finished it. That's kinda cool. Or before. <laughs> I don't know. And then over here, it will show the grade that they got on this lesson. So let's click on the first lesson and see what happens there. Okay, so in this lesson, oh, and the video is already starting. Did you hear the guy's voice? Let me see if you can hear that. Plane shapes are two-dimensional shapes, 2D. They are flat shapes. So they're two-dimensional. They have a length and a width. So he's got an accent. Is right, that so totally not fun? I think that's totally fun. Uh, so you can see the type of videos there are. They are text, they are graphics, and then somebody is talking over top of those videos. There's also a lesson summary that you can look at. Especially, This is especially helpful if you are trying to... Um, okay, it should be opening up. Waiting for Google. <laughs> All right, well, let's try opening it in a new window. They give us that option too. And there you go. Quick summary of the lesson. That might help you, as I was about to say, that is good if you think you might already know this stuff and this will help you see, oh, no, wait a minute, there's some stuff there I don't know. Obviously, this is fairly elementary as far as geometry is going to go. So you might already know that. And the video isn't that long, so this is probably a pretty quick lesson. So you watch the video, you look at the lesson summary, and this one has questions only. So then you can start the questions. And... Click on all of the trapeziums. Did anybody see what a trapezium is? I'm just going to take some guesses here. I feel like it has something to do with two parallel sides, but maybe it has only two parallel sides. We'll find out. <laughs> How long ago was geometry? And I used to be a math teacher. Let's submit and see what happens. I am wrong. <laughs> okay, so it's only one set of parallel sides. And... All right, next question. Okay, rectangles. Rectangles, I know. I can do rectangles. One, two. <gasps> Is this a rectangle? Golly. I don't know. I got it. I got it. Woohoo! Next question. 
I'm not going to take you through all of these, but I just want you to see how it's developing the score. I've gotten one out of two right so far, so my score says 50%. Kites, I do know what those are. I saw that on the summary. Okay, so I'm about a third of the way through this bar, so that's telling me there's probably 10 questions. If I were to go through all 10, then there would be a score at the end. Let's click back on the video. And then let's go back to here and see if it's going to give me a score at all. It might not yet because I haven't finished. Okay, and it hasn't. But you get the idea. Click on the lesson, watch the video, look at the summary sheet if you need it, and then... Um, In this lesson, we take a look at yes, the plane yes, shapes. Yes, we do know that. And then answer the questions. Now, um, when my daughter was doing algebra, there were worksheets, and I'm assuming there are going to be worksheets in geometry as well. Let's go back and try to find something a little farther along. Let's go to part three. What the hey, let's do coordinate geometry. And identifying plotted points. Okay, this one has a worksheet. I'm going to stop him before he starts. Yeah, sure, now he's calling me a liar. Okay, questions again, and then a worksheet. Oh, there we go. Stop, don't talk. Okay, here's the worksheet. View worksheet, right here. Identifying plotted points. So you can print this worksheet out. That's one of the benefits of CTC Math, is that you can print the worksheets out and your child can go away from the computer and work everything out. So here they're saying find the coordinates of the labeled points and write the letter in the boxes below. So one, three. Here's one, three, so I'm going to put a letter N, but I can't enter it on the worksheet. I have to come down to the place where it says enter your answers and I'm going to put an N in number one. Oh, you should have a message spelt out if your answers are correct. How fun is that? Which makes it, which helps me understand better why there are multiple N's on there. I looked at that at first and I'm like, oh, okay. But that means we're going to get a message. And so they would put all of their answers in here and then hit submit. After they hit submit, I doubt it will let me do it now. Yeah, you have to fill in all the boxes. So this is not a get graded as you go. This is a finish the entire worksheet, put all of your answers in, then hit submit, get a score, and then you can see the solutions. You can, however, see here, I can save the progress and come back to it. So that's nice. And that's basically what each lesson consists of video, then some questions, then possibly a worksheet. Every lesson has a video, and that's really nice. Okay, let's take a look at our activity log. Oh, <laughs> no student activity log for this lesson. I guess I didn't finish anything, so that's why. But this tells you, shows you what a course would be like, and you can see that it's going to be worth a full credit because each section has many lessons involved. So 19 plus 15, that's going to be 34, plus 13, that's going to be 47 lessons in part three, which is roughly a third of a year, roughly. So, um, you know, if you, that's a, a third of 150, and we're looking for probably 160 hours or so to make a full credit. So my guess is they make up for that in the other sections. And so that's it from the student perspective. Let's see what happens under this tab, tab right here. Okay, so that's just back to what we've already seen. And then we can have tasks here. There's not going to be anything listed. That's probably something that the parent can put in there. And I'm going to be honest with you, we're not going to look at the parent portal today. Suffice it to say there is one. Uh, I, as with a high school student, I don't spend a lot of time planning out their days. I let them do that at this point. So I'm not necessarily in that parent portal assigning them tasks or even necessarily checking to see how they're doing that often. It has all the stuff that you're going to need in there for that, but I don't use it that much at this point in time. Oh, you can change colors, you can enter your email, etc, etc. 
So this is the student perspective. And here's the thing that to really like about CTC math. Oh, let's go back to settings. I, do you, I, because I just saw something I want to point out. Right over here, your pass mark is 80%. That is set by the parent. You decide what's the minimum grade your child needs to have in order to pass, in order to be able to move on. I sent mine at 80. I don't believe in uh, trying to get 100% every time. I, I didn't have to do that when I was in school, and I'm not out for 100% understanding all the time. And to be honest with you, I'm not even after all A's. Math may not be a subject my kid is that great in, and I'm just not going to put that kind of pressure. B's and above is fine with me. That's just my personal opinion. So as I started to say, though, the great thing about CTC math is your kid, your high school age kid, can work through it all by themselves. And that is really helpful as a homeschool mom. We're training our high school students to become independent learners, and CTC math makes that happen. And it does all the grading for us. So all we have to do at the end of the year is put those grades together, make an average, and then we're ready to go. Alrighty, so you might have heard the door behind me. Hubby just walked into the room. I'm done here anyway. Uh, I'll meet you back in the video in just a moment. So there you have it. Now you've seen CT Math from the inside out, and you'll be able to judge whether or not it's a good program for your child or children or family. Again, uh, if you want to see a comparison with CTC to Alex, which is a very, it's another very popular online math program, then uh, click the link to go to my blog and you can see all the similarities and differences there. And hopefully that will help you to make an educated choice about what math program is good for your kid at this stage in their life. Remember, no math program is going to solve everybody's problems. <laughs> see what I did there? <laughs> It's just important to uh, choose the one that's going to fit your child's learning style as well as cover the topics that you think are important in, in math and as well uh, just give you that sense of confidence, give your kid that sense of confidence that they are doing math well and that they don't feel lost or confused. And I think CTC is a great choice for that. I'll see you next time.